this is an opportunity for parents to have a chance to see what life is like on campus. We wanted to give parents a glimpse of the faculty that these students are in class with, the deans and the provost that they are working with on a regular basis, all of the different open houses that we have. And then we have tomorrow afternoon, Avenue of the Arts Festival, which really highlights the talent of so many of our different students on campus. The, the spirit of Tufts is really, really shining right now. Whether you're a first time Tufts parent, maybe you dropped your student off and you haven't seen them since, I want to let you know that it's an exciting place here with a lot of happy students. The campus looks beautiful. There's a sense of excitement here and I hope you'll get a chance to make it back. If you're an alum and you haven't been back in a while, every time you come here, you're going to feel a real sense of pride. Every time I come here, this university only gets bigger and better. What I'm really proud about is that we won it this year in the same year that we had a 3.59 all sport GPA by That's our incredible. student athletes and won more academic all NESCAC honors than we've ever won before. But more than anything, it's that team effort. Um, our parents uh, and our alums, uh, the support they give us is a huge part of this. Well, I think that it's important for you to find your identity while you're on campus, whatever that is, and you can have multiple identities. And so when you do that, you want to then find those communities that can support you in that identity. So we want you to grow in this space. We want you to, to have a, a safe and brave space to be. And we want you to build that network because the network that you build while you're in college, you know, some of them, if not all of them, if you want to, can be your network as you are going through the next stages of your life. And so that's very important. I mean, I've been out of college for a very long time and my friends, my core friends, are the people that I met in college. Mm -hmm. and, they're, and they're important to me. And I think that's gonna happen for these students as well. So getting involved in those um, centers is important for that. And also the centers wanna make sure that we're supporting the students as they move through their academic experience. It's exciting to see that so many students have Tisch College as part of their identity. You know, and for some of the people who participate in our programs, there's, they participate sometimes in multiple programs, you know, and it's clearly like impacted where they've headed. And so when alums come back, you know, it's exciting for them to be able to share how, you know, their career, regardless of what profession they end up in, you know, whether they end up in nonprofits or the corporate world, you know, everyone always talks about how, you know, their experiences have really shaped who they are mm -hmm. and the ways that they see the world and the ways that they engage with the world. And so really, you know, we see our role as like building, giving people the tools to build their capacity for civic engagement and social, you know, civic agency as they enter the world regardless of, you know, what they do. Part of the legacy of this alum, uh, he was very uh, invested in learning by experience and learning by doing and this idea of experiential uh, education. And so we bring a lot of that to Tufts and Tawar. So even though they are Tufts courses, um, exactly the same courses that would be offered here on campus, they count the same way, they have the same numbers, the same names, but we tweak them a little bit so that they have an element of, of the region where we are, of the site where we are. The tough students here are always asking the question, why? They're not ready to just accept things as they are. They wanna know why things are the way they are and how they became to be the way they are right now. And because of that, they're very critical and thinking about you know, the ways our society is structured and what their role is within it. And what's been really beautiful is seeing that development for students over their four years at Tufts and how they're thinking when they come in as a first year student evolves slowly over time throughout those four years. And I do see them really leaving Tufts with such a more nuanced um, understanding of society and also a more nuanced understanding of how they fit within society. Having a residential experience is really so important to uh, the college education that so much happens in the classroom, but a lot happens outside of the classroom. Our students, your students, your children are already living in this world. I mean, you can just look out in any classroom and you can see the diversity of our student body. I believe it's the most diverse student body we've ever had. One of the things at SMFA that we um increase you know often tell our students and, and maybe parents get a dose of this too is to be okay with failure and in fact please fail you are not doing something right if you aren't I'm, I'm, i'd be a little worried if nobody failed we want to sort of lean into the idea of our students having the opportunity to work with faculty and being actually those people 
we don't want to hand things off to others. We know our students care. We know our students are exceptionally bright and talented. They know the technology. They have also a sense of grounding because of the experience they have through arts and sciences, fine arts, Tisch College. We know they care about the world. Tough students are obviously academically successful. They are wildly involved in everything. And sometimes it's just okay to have a pizza party uh, and just you know be with one another and let off some steam. Uh, you probably know that we are in midterms time right now. Uh, so most students are at kind of this point. Uh, we also are just coming off of homecoming where we just saw a real want from students to be with each other in ways that are not in an academic setting or maybe not in a club, but just together. We talk to students a lot about what we call career competencies. And they're, they're competencies that have been documented through a lot of research in our professional fields as well as others um, about uh, skills that are really transferable across a lot of different career fields. Um, so we love talking to students. We do encourage students. Please encourage your student to come and see us if they're having any academic difficulty at all sooner rather than later. That's when we can help the most. One of our primary roles is to help students figure out how to talk to faculty, to act as coaches. We are here to provide support. We're here to help students access those tools that are at their disposal to continue to fill their toolbox throughout their time here. Um, we also joke about being a very expensive Google engine where it's like, where can I find this? And it's literally right next to them. The purpose of our research is to train students. Um, it's not necessarily to develop products. Now, if that happens because we're super duper clever, then that's fantastic news because we want to be able to translate things that we're developing in at Tufts and, and other institutions into the public sector. I think it's a really important part of, of doing scientific research is to have other people benefit from that. And so the case study that we look up, look at um, uh, focuses on the point in time where SafeLight changed the way it was paying these installers, these windshield installers. They used to all be paid based on the hours that they put in. Right? You work for eight hours, you get paid a fixed amount, but that didn't depend on how many windshields they actually installed. And they, at the time, installed about two and a half windshields per day on average when the, uh, when the uh, management estimated it would take about 30 minutes per windshield. Right? Um, so yeah, there's driving involved, but there was sort of this potential that they weren't working that hard. So what we're trying to do is match the sample, the blood sample that we have um, uh, to a specific individual and see if their repeats match, right? And so this is not, you know, just from a person's uh, repeats, we can't tell who they are, but we can compare two samples and see if those samples are the same or are they different? Is this the same person or not? 80% of Broadway productions struggle, uh, fail to recoup their investments. And part of the reason is because unlike movies, they can't be scaled globally. Uh, at best, a Broadway show is performed eight times a week in a theater ranging from 500 people to about 1,700 people, creating really big supply and demand issues. So Hamilton, for instance, plays at the Richard Rogers Theater in Midtown Manhattan with a seating capacity of 1,300 people. At its peak in 2016 and 2017, even with the highest ticket prices priced at just a hair over $1,000, there weren't enough seats available to meet the demand. I want you to know that every one of us feels a personal responsibility both to educate your student and to care for them, for the whole of them. In the 15 months that I've been the dean, it's so clear to me that Tufts is a special place. It's a place that sees the contribution and potential of every student. It is a place where every student belongs.